Welcome back to Done With Depression. Today's video is on how I make money in the stock market and essentially how I make money in general to do some of the traveling and other things that I've been doing. So first of all, for this video, it's not a suggestion on how you should invest. It's not a tutorial. It's just a basic overview of what I do and how it's worked for me so far. So I'm not telling you to go do this specific stock or this specific idea. I'm just letting you know it exists and telling you that that's how I do it. So what I do is called uh, options trading, but more specifically, it's long-term options trading. And so there's the stock market and there's stocks that make up the stock market. And then within those stocks, there's what's called option contracts, which is essentially just a bet on if a stock will meet a certain price by a certain date. So a lot of people talk about the stock market as being gambling and compared to that quite frequently. But I think of gambling more as you know the odds are against you, but you're playing anyway sort of thing. And the stock market is really what you put into it is what you can get out of it. You'll get lucky here and there, but consistently, if you're not putting the time in and learning how to do it, then it's not gonna pay off. So the stock that we're looking at today is called Berkshire Hathaway, which I'm sure some of you have heard of, but it is owned by the Warren Buffett, the greatest investor of all time. And he's written a lot of great books that I've read some of. And so his company Berkshire Hathaway um, has dipped since the Corona crash, as we'll call it. And a lot of companies have dipped, but some of them have started to come back. And this company, Berkshire Hathaway, hasn't started to bounce back yet. And Warren Buffett being the greatest investor of all time, I'm sure bought more stock when it was low. And so they should be bouncing soon. And so what I did was I looked at the stock and I looked at the chart. I decided that I wanted to be in this stock. And so when you decide that you wanna be in a stock, there's a couple questions that you wanna ask yourself. Are you buying it long-term? Are you buying it short-term? Um, do you think the stock is gonna go down? Do you think it's gonna go up? And so with an option, what you can do is say, I think it's gonna go up to $200 by January of next year. So that's what I did here was I bought a Berkshire Hathaway next year, so 2021, January 15th, and then call, which means I think the stock is going to go up. So there's calls and puts. So I think of it as like calling your shot, meaning you're like calling your shot, it's going to go up, or put, like you're putting something down. And so I bought a call, meaning I think that the price is gonna go up and what's known as the strike or the price that you think it's gonna go up to is 200. So my bet, if you will, is that this stock, which currently is at $178 right now, I am betting that I think the stock is gonna go to 200 by January 15th of this coming year. And with the option, I can either hold the option until January 15th. And if the stock price is 200 or higher, then it'll convert and buy the stock for me at the strike price. So at the $200, it would buy that stock for me on January 15th. If it's at $250 by January 15th, I have the option, which is why it's called an option, to buy it at $200 because I put up a premium, the option price to buy this option. So essentially I bought five option contracts at $8.80, which is my premium. 
and each option bundle or contract is a bundle of 100. So you would take the $8.80, which is my premium, times 100 would be how much I'd have to pay for a single option contract, times five, which is how many option contracts I bought, and then I put a $5 commission fee in there, which brings the total out to $4,405. So for five contracts, it would be $4,405. Now what I did to compare was I took the $4,405 and divided it by the current share price, which is 178, to find out that if I didn't want to buy these options, I could buy almost 25 shares of the stock instead. So what we're gonna do now is show how much um, better, in my opinion, options are but how they can be riskier, but you can also have a lot greater reward. So at the price of 178, if I were to buy the option, I would have made zero money. At the same price, if I had bought the stock, I would have made zero money. Now, if the price goes up $2 a share, if I have the option, I would have made $281. And if it went up $2 a share and I had the stock, I would have only made $49.50. If the stock price goes up to $20 a share, which is what I think it'll go up to by January 15th, I would have over doubled my money for the option and made $4,930 profit. Now, the same for the stock, I would have only made $550 if the stock price went up to 200 but if the stock goes down you can also lose considerably more money so if it goes down to 160 a share instead of 178 so it goes down $18 I would have lost over half of my money $2,559 on the option where on the stock, I would have only lost $450. On the same thing, if it goes down to uh, 120 from 178, and I'm completely wrong and the market keeps going down, and it goes to 120 a share from 176, I would have lost all of my option money, so it'd be worthless now. But if I had owned the stock, I would have only lost $1,450. So you can see the compare and contrast there where at a price of $120, I've lost all of my money that I put into the option. But I would have only lost about a third of the money that I put into the stock and I would still have something to hold and hope that the market goes back up. So with options, you can actually lose all of the money that you bought the option with. Where in a stock, it's a lot harder to go from $178 a share to literally like $0 a share. So it's a lot riskier, but you can see the reward is much greater. If the stock price goes to $220 a share, I've uh, tripled my money now just in profit. So it'd be a four times there. And for the stock, I would have only made $1,000 or $1,050. So I would have made a 25% gain on the stock if it goes to 220 a share, or I could have made four times my money on the option. So that's what I've been doing recently. Um, you can do option prices like for that day or for that week, which are super, super risky. And that's how you lose a lot of money um, because you're really just betting on if it's gonna go up or down then but I've been seeing a lot of um, good results with doing a little bit longer of an expiration out. So this one is about seven, eight months out right now. And so there's a lot of time for the stock to recover. I also have the majority of all of my Microsoft options are dated for 2022. And I have numerous strike prices there. 
So one of my biggest wins so far was I had a call for Microsoft at 150 a share and it went all the way up to like 192 a share. So that option contract that I had made a ton of money on just the contract alone. But if I wanted to exercise the option and actually buy the stock, I could have bought the, I could exercise it and buy the stock at 150, even though the current stock price was at like 190. So it's a pretty cool thing there. They try and make it super confusing, but I hope that you guys learned a little bit and it's not as confusing. Um, I know there's a lot of numbers and that can be overwhelming at some times, but I also taught myself all of this on my own. So if there's anything out there that you guys are wanting to learn or wanting to try, like you don't always have to have, you know, classes or lessons or the perfect teacher to be able to do it. There's so much knowledge on the internet that if you guys really want to learn something and you put the time and effort into it, you can teach yourself almost anything these days. So hashtag YouTube University and I'll see you guys next time on Done With Depression.